The Jeff Adams Show. The Jeff Adams Show. Live from Lakewood, Florida. It's the Jeff Adams Show. The Jeff Adams Show is sponsored by... The JA Creative Phone Lines are sponsored by Backbone Radio. Call in today at 818-927-6205. Absolutely. (laughs) Yes! All right. And Blab, Blab is completely empty right now. Blab is empty. <laughs> Come on, Blab. The experiment. But uh, hey, welcome to the Jeff Adams Show. I am Jeff Adams, and uh, I've been doing this show for the last three three years, something like that. I don't know. But uh, we are live now. Let me look at uh, Stream Up, uh, Vaughn TV, Stream Spot, the Jeff Adams Show, Stream Me, and our TuneIn channel and the Live 365 channel for radio. Uh, check us out at jcreativenewmedia.com. You can listen there or you can watch live and interact in the chat room. Um, and uh, we have our room, our, our personal chat room, which we have Bossy, who comes in every show. Bossy's here all the time. She's and she, fantastic. I can't even keep up with half the time she <laughs> she uh, chats. So uh, very, uh, I, I appreciate her spending her uh, work work hours. Someone's paying her to, to watch uh, the Jeff Adams show. To watch the Jeff Adams show. Fantastic. So that's uh, good stuff. So, uh I'd like to introduce, uh, I mean, I didn't even do the lower, the lower thirds here, so. Yeah, you know, whatever. It, so, uh, it, it is what it is, what it is. You know, this is. Uh, I hear, I am Jeff Adams. Let's be professional <laughs> here. And uh, you can call in. Uh, let's see here. No, this is not it. See, this is why I miss Chris. Yeah, this is, this is why uh, it's, it's nice to have an extra set of hands once in a while. Well, you know, I mean, the reality of it is you can call in at 818-927-6205. Uh, on the phone lines because it's very it's very hard to host a show and um, do all this. I mean, oh, yeah, I can do it when I'm not on the camera. Exactly, sleeping. Yeah. I right. can just sit here and monitor stuff. But right. it, at the end of the day, it's uh, stuff. But I also want to introduce the co-host today. He comes in frequently. Uh, Denny Cray. I like to call him Cray Cray, but he Cray goes Cray. by These Runs. At, Diz runs at uh, Diz. <laughs> I like to say Diz. I know you do. Diz. Diz runs at Twitter. Uh, you can follow him there. He's a running expert there at Twitter, um, and he's very popular. By the way, I mean, I uh, you know we talk you know we're talking about Blab here, right? I oh, love me some Blab. Yeah, uh, I, I I love it too. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna front. It's uh it's it's fantastic, man. Definitely, it I, I, it's it's I think we're only just scratching the surface of of I mean, obviously since it's new, I mean it's still very su- superficial, but I think there's a lot of um room for it to to really become kind of the new the new thing i mean i, I think it's gonna be it's i think it's gonna be big I, I i haven't seen anything about it i don't like yet and i not that i'm a pro not that i've been yeah. in hours and hours but the time i've been on it the, the blabs i've hosted the blabs i've been a part of or just watching uh whew. oh yeah yeah i've got we got people in the chat room right now i'm, I'm gonna try to monitor two chat rooms hey people at blab i'm gonna open the seat at some point in the show because we, we stream, you know, if you've never seen the Jeff Adams show, uh, if you join us now, um, uh, it's been uh, been quite interesting. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to open up the seat. Someone says they can't hear your co-host, which is bizarre. Because um, uh, can everybody hear Denny Cray Cray? Uh, Bossy in our jcreativenewmedia.com website. Can you hear everything Cray Cray saying right now? Hopefully. I hope so, because I hear him. Otherwise, otherwise, I'm just uh, the, the just just here, I guess, just taking up space. No, you're here, creating some dead air, because you're not talking when I'm talking, and that that can be a problem. Or are you going out on the stream? Because I see your audio. Okay, all right. So, um, there you go. But yeah, yeah, you know, we, we were talking, we're talking blab. We're talking about a lot of different things today. And again, if you're in blab right now, I will open up the seats. But we stream this show so def, uh, difficult on so many levels. <laughs> I tried to integrate. I can integrate the audio on this show, but if you want to co-host, it's going to be towards a little bit towards the end of the show here. 
Uh, I can bring you in audio, but we're streaming out there. Our Roku channel, uh, Ustream, our, our website, uh, Stream Me, The Jeff Adams Show, blah, 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 blah. There's so many places we're going out to. So, um, And this is an experiment. It really is. You know, just trying, trying out the, the blab at the same time and just see how it goes. You just see how it all rolls, baby. Um, on another thing, too, uh, can you guys in blab, can you guys hear me? Is that, is that a problem? Is anybody can hear me in blab? If not, I'm just going to kill the feed because I've had what's some problems the, what's with the it. What's the point? Yeah. Yeah, I've, did, I've done some hacks just making sure. Yeah, the they should be able to hear. I can hear, just not your co-host. Maybe mm -hmm. refresh because his the co-host is there. Uh, we're we're getting the audio feed uh, for him out on the stream. So um, let's see. I see and hear Danny. See on the on the Jeff Adams Show so, TV. So has got me. Yeah, she can see see and hear you. Um, and then JJ Bradshaw. I hope I said your last name. If I don't, I apologize. Uh, right? Uh, he says I do. So on our end, if you having problems, if you're at Blab, I know it's hard to leave Blab right now, but you go to the <laughs> Jeff Adams Show TV and catch the feed uh, and hear us in full 1080 um, HD. You said it wrong. I'm sorry. I know I said it wrong. I'm sorry. I apologize. But yeah, you know, Denny, you know, you're a podcaster. You have a very popular podcaster about running. And we were talking about Blab when we first got in here um, and... Uh, all the crazy things you can do with Blab, but it's just a, it's, it's just a great community mm -hmm. to just really network and find people that have the same passion. It's almost like the podcast movement. Everybody was in the podcast, and I was like, well, I feel I feel kind of left out. I, I do have a podcast, but I like to do stuff live, and now podcasts are like, hey, this is pretty cool. You right. can do stuff live. So what do you think about this whole platform? I've seen you've done a couple of shows on Blab. Uh, what's your whole take on it? I, I like it. I, I think it's a great way to interact it's a it's a great um well i mean i will just start there i i I've, I've liked periscope a lot and i still like periscope i still use periscope but it's it's tough to have that that natural interaction when you know with periscope pe people especially if you have a, if you have you know a, a lot of people that are on it and they're firing questions like things just disappear off your screen and, and you can't can't find them they can't you can't jump on and and you know, somebody might ask, so, so I do a lot of my periscopes about running and just, you know, questions people might have, injuries, things like that. And, you know, somebody will ask a question and then it's like, well, all right, so, and then I need more information. So then it's, it's you got to wait for them to type back and somebody else asks a question. So you jump in and it's just, it's, it, it's, it's cool and it's fun, but it's, it's difficult. Yeah. I find it, uh, it's very difficult right now because <laughs> I'm monitoring two chats right now. <laughs> one and two. Right. And I, I, you know, I'm talking to these people too, uh, you know, our, one of our sponsors, Joycaster, they're integrating the chat now. It's just, it's in beta right mm -hmm. now, but I can pull, what they're doing is they're pulling all the chats where it can be in one chat room. So oh, if someone's on Ustream uh, or on, uh, you know, Stream Up or wherever they be, I got to get them mm -hmm. in contact with like blog and blog talk radio right. and Spreaker. If we can integrate all this chat and have one place, my life would be a whole lot easier. So I only monitor right now. I'm monitoring Blab and our own uh, Jeff Jay Creative, yeah, right. Jay Creative New Media uh, website as well at the Jeff Adams Show TV. So Blab, I, I think it's phenomenal. Um, like for shows like this, I mean, you know, I mean, we've got two people uh, in the room right now. People bounced out because they realize it's just, oh, this right. is professional. I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. I want to interact. I want to talk about my cat or my dog. <laughs> uh, so. Um, you know, it's uh, it's it's one of those things, but it, it's an experiment. But you know, if if people hang around and they come into Blab, I will open up the audio uh, per portion of Blab. You can come in and you can talk to me and uh, Cray Cray uh, when we do the show. But um, yeah, lots going on, man. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit pissed because I'm trying to figure out if I, you know, I freaking technology in here. If you look in here, <laughs> you see what it's all the stuff going on. There's so much to it. You know, and, and I, you know, I love the people at New Tech, but I want to cuss right now. <laughs> you know, I, I want to cuss because the reality of it is, is like you can't carry on. This is the only really live video show I do in here. So I guess, you know, the podcast I do is fine. But uh, you spend money on gear, Cray Cray. And lots of money. Lots of money. And, and you want it to work. Yes. So the input, video input on one of these uh, on this thing, after they sent me a trial unit, I sent the other one back because they couldn't get the audio right. Mm. You know, last Friday they said, well, send it in and uh, we'll get it repaired. And I was like, well, in the meantime, what am I going to do? They said, well, you know, for $1,000 a year, you know, you can have the pro thing and we'll send you any kind of piece of gear that you want. 
And I'm like, seriously? You know, I spent all this money. I'm still in a warranty, and you're going to do this? This is the third time, guys. And I talked to a supervisor, and he just, you know, wasn't getting anything out of him. Mm -hmm. So I don't know when I'm going to do another Jeff Adams show. I, I'm going to probably take the unit, ship it out tomorrow, um, and figure it out, which sucks, too, because I've been talking to these people on Blab, and we're planning this show on Blab right. TV, just strictly for Blab TV, which is going to be hard to do without my TriCaster. <laughs> So it's it's just it's just one of those things, man, where things happen and you just you have to adapt to you know what's what's going on. But uh, you know what's what's been going on with your podcast? I mean, since podcast movement, I know you made a lot of connections out there with a lot of the the people that listen to you. Because mm -hmm. I, I, every time I walked around you, trying to hang out with you, trying to be cool, because <laughs> I didn't know anybody out there. I was hanging out with you. All these people, you were a freaking celebrity out there. So what's going on with the podcast? Well, I don't, I don't know about celebrity, but it, it just just keep on keep on keeping on, keep on plugging. I had a had a great chat with uh, uh, a guy this morning. Uh, it'll be coming out next week. It'll be episode uh, right about one sixty maybe. Um, so just just keep plugging um, and just having a blast. I mean, it's it's I've you know for for me my I mean my show is about running. So if you if you're not into running, it's probably obviously not for you. But it's just gives me a chance to nerd out with, I mean, you know, I, the, the show that's going out a little bit later this afternoon, um, you know, a girl that's, that's got her, her sights set on, on making an Olympic team, you know, and then I've got people that um, are just, you know, quote unquote, regular runners, people that, that you know, have used running to, to, to improve their health or change their life that way or, or, you know, just, you know, fitting it in as part of, you know, just the, the busy daily life that we have. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun for me to be able to have that flexibility to not just be focused on the elites or not just be focused on the everyday runners, but really to be able to get a, a nice cross section of, of everybody within the running community and just connect. And, and, and I mean, it's, I, I, I love it. It's, it's, it's so much fun to just, you know, foster those relationships and, and hopefully kind of maintain them as, as, you know, after, after they've been on and, and, you know, you know, just continue to, to stay in touch and, and, you know, who knows where it leads down the road. Well, let me ask you this. You, 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 do you get any, I mean, do you, have you interviewed anybody that's complained? Just like, literally like me right now it's because <laughs> i can't get any sleep at night um i'm struggling man i mean i i don't know what else to do i mean I, my back hurts my uh you know uh lots lots of things have mm -hmm. happening with me and uh it's 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 not it's, it hasn't been fun at all um but uh i'm gonna get back to that i'm gonna get to this phone call see see who this is at the phone call real quick um because i know everybody's on the schedule and everything hey you on the jeff adams show Hey, Hey, Val. How's it going? I can hear you okay. Yeah, you sound like you're uh, on, in, on the in toilet a, in a chamber. Well, anyways, I, it's, it's very hard to hear you. It sounds like you're in a wet reverb room. <laughs> and uh, but uh, you know, Val, we'll make it we'll make it quick because I know you're on a time schedule. But Val is a uh, co-host of this new show that we're doing on Blog Talk Radio called The Week in Podcasting. And uh, her uh, her and Seth Everett kind of hold it down. I'm kind of producer. I might say a couple one liners or whatever. But I wanted to get her on the show because we're really excited about the show. We did episode number one, recorded it on Tuesday, and it Fantastic. released this morning at 6 a.m. So, uh, you know, Val, Val, have you heard the show? What do you think of the show? I did. You know, it was so. Can you hear me better now? This is better. Yeah, it's a little bit better. I want you to sing a song because you got that that, uh, that nice crisp karaoke reverb going on right now. <laughs> you, do, you do not want me to sing a song. <laughs> um, I. I think the, I think the podcast is great, and I think that you definitely are an, a welcome addition. Because otherwise, it would just be you know Seth making fun of me and me defending myself the whole time. <laughs> and I did listen to the podcast this morning. I actually felt um, I was at the gym working on my fitness, listening to myself on my own podcast. I felt very narcissistic. <laughs> yeah, I, I do it all the time. Don't don't feel bad. I, I do it all the time. I I, I mean, I listen, I spent two and a half hours on the show trying to make it sound better. Um, but uh, it was the first. Did a good job. It sounds great. Yeah, it was the first time I ever edited a show because I normally whatever I do live, I just throw out there. So uh, it was a challenge for me. But yeah. I was like, man, and you start, I start getting really critical. I'm like, God damn it, the sound, you know, blah blah blah. But I mean, I thought it was a great first show that you know we pulled off for Blog Talk Radio, and I'm very excited about the future with this show. I mean, it's uh, Seth, Seth and you are great. I mean, I I say ever you know I say a couple quick liners here and there, and I'm just 
you know, worried about the overall production of the show. But man, I think it's a, I think it's a great show. And I'm not, I'm not saying it because I'm on it. I'm just saying it's because it's a great, the chemistry I think is, it's, it's working itself out. We did some beta shows and it's been fantastic. Yeah, no, I think it's really fun. And like the whole premise of the show is that we talk about other podcasts, right? And like yeah. talking about other people is, it's something I do in my free time anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it on the show with you guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean I, I, I love I, I I love where it's going. Um very, very excited about the future. And for watching the video feed, there's the uh, picture of us. Um Val's picture. Oh, that was quick. That went by quick. Val's picture is actually we I found out the picture I per- pulled off Facebook for this. You know, she was a, one of her date night pictures. So that was what she looks like she goes on date night. So. <laughs> Definitely a rose between two thorns right yeah. there. Yeah, but uh, you know, oh, but, that's but Val, I just wanted to yeah. plug. I wanted to plug the show. Thanks for calling in. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, I want to make sure that the the upper management at, at Blog Talk Radio sees that we're holding it down and we're pushing the show. So I really appreciate yeah. appreciate the call. Yeah, anytime, and everybody come listen to our podcast. It's a lot of fun. And you got to come uh, anyway. come on via Skype and co-host the show sometime. All right. I'd, I'd love to. Yeah, I mean, I'll have to put on makeup for that one. It's a bummer, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't put on any makeup, Val. You'll be fine. Yeah, well, no, my whole thing is, like, I was I was hosting online video stuff before, and then I became a new mom, and I was like, uh, no time for that. And so podcasting is perfect, right? It's perfect. Um, but yeah, yeah. No, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. You, you can podcast in your underwear, and no one will ever know. Nope. It's fantastic. <laughs> All right, thanks, Val. Yeah. Get, get back to get back to those workouts so you can uh, work on those vocals, man, and continue to dominate on uh, the week in podcasting. Love it. Okay, thanks, Jeff. All right, see you. All right. Bye. So that was Val. Uh, we do a, I do a show podcast show with Seth Everett and Val and myself weekly. You can hear that at Block Talk Radio. The show just went live. Uh, what, this 6 a.m. this morning, Thursday? Yeah. So they release every Thursday at 6 a.m. Uh, really proud of the show. I mean, I think it's it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's going to be a fantastic show. Okay, well, uh, the phone lines are just cranking. Blowing up. All fantastic. Right. Uh, you're going to like this one because Uh-oh. you know you know who it is. It must be my man, Matt. It is. Matt Baxter! Hey, everybody out there! Hey, Woo! Matt. How you doing, buddy? Good, man. Good. Just say it, dude. Just say it. Absolutely. Oh, love that. Oh, I love it too. <laughs> <laughs> love it. <laughs> love it. So, so what's, what's what's been going on, Matt? Not much. <laughs> it's always Not like, much. It's, it's, there's never, <laughs> guys, it's never anything going on in the Matt Baxter life. There's nothing ever ever going on for Matt Baxter. It's like, hey, what's going on, Matt? Not mm, much. Nothing much. I want you to say next time I say that, Matt, you need to say this. You need to have something. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what you need to say, Matt. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah, what? What's that? What'd you say? I said absolutely. There you go, there it buddy. Is. So uh, what's new out in the homestead out in Lake County, man? Don't say nothing oh, much. Oh, nothing much. <laughs> Just say Matt, I'm trying All to. Right, I'm well, trying, we're you you up. If you're going to eventually come in and do this show, we've got to work on some media training, okay? So when I ask you a question. All right. All right. It's very, very important that you you don't say nothing much because when you're in media, you're in radio, you're in podcasting, whatever, whatever you might do, and when you're being interviewed, it's very important to just say, you know, you you want to seem interesting, Matt. You know what I mean? You can't just say nothing much. You have to say something like, you know, I walked out, Jeff, and I looked at the stars last night. It was freaking amazing. I just saw, you know, a falling star. It fell down. It was fantastic. It was beautiful, Jeff. That's the kind of stuff. So, Matt, let's try this again from the top. <laughs> Matt, what's been going on, Matt? All right. Matt, what's been going on? Um, I saw a star last night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's uh let's tune in the creativity here a little bit, Matt. All right, you you know I just gave you a little lead in, but all right. All, right, all right, Matt, what's what's been the highlight? All right, let's 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 uh let's bring in a little bit. Uh, what's been the highlight of your of your week so far, Matt. What has been what has stood out the most about this week? It's Thursday right now, so we're in Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You have lots of memories, Matt. What has been the best memory you've had so far? Well, yesterday I made a cake for a friend of ours named Joe. There you there go. Is a story. So I made this cupcake. 
Now, who is this guy, Joe? Do I know Joe? No. And you don't know Mark G or, wait, you don't know Mark D or Joe at all, but they're really nice people. Well, Mark, is Mark your brother or is that a different Mark? Different Mark. And so what kind of, Matt, what kind of cake did you make, Mark? No, Joe. Joe. My bad. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah. Now you need okay. to give me the uh, train. <laughs> I made him. Okay, I made him this beautiful white cat because he has a cat named Blue. Yeah. So I made him like this royal blue cat with like um pound cake and royal blue icing. It was really good too. Nice. Yeah, well, and you made it yourself. Well, my mother and I made it together. Okay, Matt. Let's be honest here. How much of the cake did you <laughs> actually make? Were you standing there, or did you actually? participate i actually made the cake i did like all the ingredients in the mixer and everything dude when are you gonna make me a cake what are you gonna i don't know when your birthday is man you know when my birthday is it's <laughs> october 9th it's coming up next month oh october 9th huh yeah I'm all right i'm expecting a cake matt so do you want to uh, you want to just stay on hold and listen to the show since uh, you know you can't listen to it any other way? So uh, you want to do that, Matt? I guess. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, you guess? You don't have to. <laughs> don't feel obligated. He's doing you. Oh, a no, favor. no, 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 no. I no. just, I just offered. Go ahead. Okay, I just offered it. I mean, I you know <laughs> you can still watch a show. You can go on the when you go to the you know library in Eustis, you can watch a show or listen to the show. It's up to you. I mean, whatever you want to do. I know you're right. busy making cakes. All right. <laughs> all right. So we got another call. I'm going to get to that. I'll put you on hold, Matt, all right? All good right. To, good to talk to you, Matt. Take care. I love you, Matt. You're the best. All right. Let's get to this other call here. Is this the Bubba Bo Beard? Hello. This is Bubba Bo Beard from Birmingham, Alabama. Oh, how's it going, Bubba Bo Beard? Oh, I was going to let... Your audience know that I had the opportunity to meet you. You did. And it was quite the uh, extravagance. In Nashville, Tennessee. You and your ex And you're actually a pretty nice guy. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you sound surprised, Bubba. You and your ex-girlfriend. Well, he, he's actually, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> well, I don't know if he's my ex or not. I, your ex, uh, your ex I know she's flying over. I know she's flying. She's flying over Alabama to visit the, the Dominican Republic next week. So, <laughs> are, are <laughs> you guys, have to tell me something, oh, right? Wait, you guys back together? What's going on? Yeah, I guess we're together. What do you mean you guess? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Either you know, or you don't know that you're, you're you're together. That's so. What's going on with that? Well, we we still we still talk. You still talk like. Like, you know, hey, Bubba, yeah, how we, you we doing? Or... I, 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 th I, I, I think I think we got some things to work on because um, you think I don't know that I'm hippie. Yeah, I don't know that I'm hippie enough for somebody <laughs> like her. Oh my god! I don't know, you know. Uh, yeah. But uh, you know, um, and also I've had I've had some health issues. I had to go in to, you know, they put that radar. I mean, radio waves in your yep. back. Yep. Right. And they're supposed to give you that stimulation. And uh, I asked them to put uh, the radio waves. I asked them to tune it into a country station. Right. Boy, they screwed that up. They put a rap rap station in my back. And now my hips won't stop moving. <laughs> I'm always having to move around. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. So that's kind of awkward. I mean, and, and, my, and my girlfriend, she's kind of upset about that, you know, in public and all. And here I am going around with my hips. Going this way, that way, towards her, away from her, other people. I mean, you know, it's just, it's been terrible. That's a burden. <laughs> but, uh, a burden to have yeah, to bear. everything's good. How about, what's that, what's Bubba? That? What's that, Bubba? Danny said something to you. What'd I you just said that's, that's a burden. Yeah, that's a, that's a cross you have to bear right there. Hey, at my age. <laughs> Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you're you got, not kidding. <laughs> I'm glad you guys. The hips were made for a young man. For no, huh? Well, I'm glad you're working it out, man. Go ahead. I was a little worried for you guys there. For I was like, how awkward right. is that? I meet his girlfriend, and then like a week later, he starts telling me all this stuff, and I'm like, oh, this is cool, you know. I mean, you know, uh, I, I, they, you know, Bubba rolls in an entourage. 
You know, so I met him in Nashville, Tennessee. He was in Nashville, Tennessee, and I met him, and, uh, you know, it was long, long overdue. But, you know, Bubba, I wanted, I wanted you to, you know, I wanted you to hear this because you're going to be very, very thrilled. Remember the great days of blog, uh, blog TV? Yes, sir. Well, Bubba, do I have a treat for you? <laughs> All right. You ready for this? You ready for you this? Fa- if you go to Blab, I am. Blab.im. Blab.im. You're right. You're right, Denny. Thanks for correcting me yes. there. Because you... Blab.im is not going to get you anywhere. Okay. So you go to Google, type in B-L-A-B.im. All right? This thing is... Okay. This thing is blog TV with a boner. All right? <laughs> and, what, and what I mean by that is... Wow. It's crazy. You're talking about anybody who likes to do internet shows, video streaming... Uh, you name it, you can have up to four co-hosts from anywhere in the world in one place with a chat room, just like Blog TV, man. It's very, very cool, like the early stages of Blog TV. That's how we met, by the way. That's how I met Bubba years ago at 2007, Craig Gray. Yeah. I met him on uh, Blog TV. We wow. used to get and do, like, do stupid skits and stuff and never met him from Adam. I just met him you know, literally like three months ago when I was in Nashville. So uh, it, the, the power of this... Yeah. Bubba, you got to check it out. Get on there. Show your smiling face on there. <laughs> do some shows. Network with people. But it's it's fantastic. You're you're going to be addicted to it. Uh, it's it's amazing. Yes, sir. Well, listen, I, it was so good to meet you. It's so good to talk, call in today and talk to you. And uh, I hope your fans are enjoying your show. And I'll check that out, buddy. Check it out, man. I'm glad you called, man. And, uh... Tell your girlfriend what's up. And tell her I, I didn't respond to her email because of uh, certain things because I didn't know. And never mind. I, I don't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm just kidding. Okay. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Right. With you. I'm just yeah, kidding. We'll, with you. we'll, we'll, talk, we'll, we'll talk about that uh, uh, <laughs> off the air. Yeah. I'm just kidding with you. I'm kidding. I didn't, nothing happened. I'm just kidding. All right. I'll see you later, Bubba. All right. Okay. All right. L- love you, man. All right. Love you too. Take care, Bubba. All right. Bye. Bob Bo Beard, the great Bob Bo Beard. It's been calling in the inceptions uh, of the show. He's, he's a great guy. Um, well, we'll get back to, uh, I was getting you back to uh, the health, the health stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, dude, I, I don't know. I was, I ran into somebody back in December, just ran straight into him. And uh, I can't, I've been to the chiropractor. You know, sometimes my neck, my neck just kinks up. My back was killing me last night. I could barely sleep. You know, what do you recommend for, uh, this crap that I'm going through. My wife goes, you just need to exercise. Well, easy for you to say because <laughs> I can barely move. I mean, I'm like, you know, t- pop an Advil like 24-7. The chiropractor is like, I can only do so much, man. So I don't know what to do, man. W- what do you recommend? Well, I, I, I hate to be so generic, but I think your wife might be right. It's just a matter of finding what what works for you as far as time commitments and as far as, as preferences. I mean, Obviously for me, I like, like I'm, I, I run running, running is kind of my, my thing. I don't mind doing some other stuff, but, but if push comes to shove, I'd prefer to run than just about any other type of, of exercise. And I fully appreciate that not everybody is in that same mindset that I am, but just doing anything is always better than nothing. And there's so many, there's so many issues and you know, just health issues that may not be directly related or, or you may not connect the dots directly thinking that, oh, well, just by by being more active, like it's going to solve these things. Right. But, but man, they, they, our bodies were made to move, you know, whether, whether that's running, whether that's swimming, whether that's playing basketball, playing tennis, but, I mean, whatever it is, like our, our bodies work best when, when they're doing something on a, on a consistent basis and, and, you know, sleep problems and, and just aches and pains and things like that. Like, yeah, you might have more aches and pains right when you first start, but, but man, our bodies are, are so adaptive to to the demands we place on them and if you start you know regularly doing whatever whatever floats your boat i know basketball was your thing when you were younger I, you know, whether you put you the ball or whatever i can't i can't do that anymore denny i get so pissed off because I, i'm not what someone told me once said they said why does tall people have to brag about their basketball skills <laughs> but the problem is i was a good basketball mm-hmm. player in my young age but the problem is mentally i get out there my body still says, Jeff, you can do this, but it, it physically can't. Mm-hmm. So I get pissed, and I play with competitive people. I play with a bunch of 20-year-olds, and I play with a bunch of 40-year-olds that are still in shape, and right. they can ball, but they're balling three or four times a day. So when I go out there, I just get pissed. I, 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 
I get frustrated. I get mad. I I don't know what it is. I get I get it gets physical. People start getting physical mm-hmm. with me, and I get pissed. I, I will say I I do enjoy running. I, the one time I did did the 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 whatever the back in February the thing here in Lakeland I enjoyed it, mm-hmm. but it's just hard. It's sometimes it's so hard to get up because I'm hurting, man. I'm hurting right. so bad. I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. That's why I ask you when you do your podcast, you have any, if you want to have someone complain and bitch and moan <laughs> at you all the time, you have me on your show because it's like I can't I can't figure it out. That, that mm-hmm. I went to the doctors, I've done all this blood work, no one can figure it out. And I don't know what it is, what I have to do. I mean, I've had uh X rays, I'm just in pain, man. Right. And I don't know I don't know what to do. Well, you know, it 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 almost sounds like um, you know, if you if you had like a, a nice, you know, twelve cylinder, big big, you know, heavy muscle car, and all you did was drive it at twenty five miles per hour around around town and stop and go and never never just open it up, like, yeah, it would it would still work, but it's that's not what it's made to do, and it sounds, sounds like almost the same thing with you, whether it's basketball, whether it's anything, whether whether it's running, whether it's again, I mean, it, it, the the possibilities are are endless, but uh, you know, some of those aches and pains that that. Yes, that those first couple of weeks of doing something are probably going to, you know, you're going to have more aches and pains. Right. But if you can push through that, that you know, couple of weeks or, or, or even maybe a little bit longer than that, but it doesn't take long for your body to start to go, whoa, wait a minute. Like, like you know, we can handle this. And all of a sudden, like, like those aches and pains do start to disappear because... You're 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 opening up the the you're you're opening up the throttle. You know, right. you're, you're you're giving your body what it what it's craving, and that's just just something. And and maybe maybe diving back into basketball right now isn't the right thing because you're competitive and because you know that you used to be able to do this and now you're physically can't. Right. But but as you start getting more, getting you know bringing some of that activity back, and and some of those muscles start to wake up and some of that flexibility and movement and agility and all these things that that um, you haven't you know forced your body to do in the last however many years like those that'll start to come back and all of a sudden now you get out there on the court with some of these guys and and you'll start to be able to hold your own you'll start to be able to recognize like hey but this was this was my, well, Craig, my basketball how, how old are you Craig Harry I am 33 so you're 33 mm-hmm. all right I'm gonna be what shoot what am I gonna be <laughs> <laughs> I'm my 40 let me figure this out 42 okay I'll be 43 okay I think yeah 43 this next month mm-hmm I mean, it's easy for you to say, you just get back on Certainly. the court, you can compete. But you know what? Mentally, all right, let's, all right, I'll, I'll break it down to you like this. You are a competitive runner, are you not? Competitive with myself. I'm, okay. not, I'm not winning any races, but I'm competitive but against go- my, my previous times, always trying to get better. You're going up to Chicago, right? Chicago. You're, you're going up to train for No, no, no. I, I, I was working with a group that's training for Chicago. Okay, one gotcha. of the fundraising charity groups. And just but you're not going up I'm there. not going up to run, no. But you're making money off of it. No, no, no. Just volunteering. Helping okay. out. It's it's okay. what it's team MDA. They're raising money. You know, the, the people that are running for the group are raising money to to fight uh, muscular dystrophy. And so I'm kind of a volunteer coach offering some 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 tips and and, and injury advice for them. That's what for the blab that you were on right. the other day. Yep. So uh Bossy just says you two are kids. How I don't understand why we're kids. <laughs> we're just having a conversation about running. Either that or she's saying she's a little bit older than oh, both of us. Oh, that's right. You're so that you should have your own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I should. <laughs> uh, I was trying because it's so hard to like main, do all this stuff. So uh, it's so just yeah. I, I'm trying to have a conversation with Denny here, and then I'm like look over and I'm like, what, what was that? <laughs> but uh, so let's say I mean, but you can't you can't tell me that you don't get out and you and you race. On a competitive level, you can't tell mm-hmm. me that. Hey, I want to beat this sucker next. Oh, me. absolutely. I mean, I, and and maybe that's part of of our mutual upbringing as far as just playing competitive. I mean, I played sports in, in in high school. Yeah. And I didn't play in college, but I, I you know I, I played hockey competitively in, in high school, and and certainly, I mean that some of that competitiveness is it will never go away for me. You know, when I'm when I'm at a even just a local 5K race around Lake Hollingsworth here in town. I mean, when somebody passes me, I, oh heck no! Like yeah. I gotta catch that, or or I see somebody in front of me that that took off at the start like a like a shot, and I say, all right, I'm gonna remember that guy, and see if I can't find him in another mile and a half or two miles, like he maybe went out a little too fast, or you know, just that but, that competitiveness is always. But what, there. but what if your body wouldn't cooperate and mentally you wanted to go out there and do that, and you couldn't compete the way you want it mentally come compete? Because I'm I, I I'm a competitor mm-hmm. too. I like to go out there if I'm gonna get physical. I like to get crazy. I just can't do it anymore. My body won't allow me to do it. Now, I am going to be turning 43 years old. Mm-hmm. 
All right? I got to do something because I feel like right now, I don't know what a 60-year-old feels like, but I feel like a, a, <laughs> a 60-year-old. I'm not right. cussed on the Jeff Adams show. <laughs> Can't do that. Drop the F-bomb. <laughs> got to watch it. I got to keep PG-13. Yes, sir. Um, but uh, I, I don't know, Denny. I mean, is there something that I can start off light with that, that can get me in some kind of groove in the pain that I'm in. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's why I would suggest moving away from basketball. Cause like I didn't, I didn't run as a kid. I, I, you know, for me, running was always the punishment. You know, you're, you're playing, you're, you're playing sports and you screw up and it's go take a lap or, or running was getting ready for hockey season. You'll build up your right. cardio to get ready for, for playing hockey. Um, so, so running wasn't something I started to do until, I mean, I, I, I would run occasionally, you know, in college, you know, when girls ask if you, Hey, you want to go for a run? But yeah, absolutely. Let's go for a run. Heck you yeah. Know? Heck yeah. But I wasn't, I, I what are you wearing right now? I, I didn't enjoy it, you know, but, th but then as I, as I got a little bit old, you know, older relatively, you know, I get into, into my, my mid twenties and it was just like, like running is still something I could do. It doesn't cost anything other than a pair of shoes and a pair of shorts and you get out there and, and you go. Um, but wait, wait, let's talk about that. I, I want to talk about that in a minute. I, I caught one of your blabs. Mm -hmm. You're know, talking about shoes. But uh, JJ says in the chat room, I'm not trying to, you know, take us on rapture. I want to pay attention to the chat room. JJ says, I'll be 34 even after injuries. Sports help. Pain is a weakness leaving the body, as uh, um, Denny has said. Um, but I, I want to ask you about that. You know, you said it's cheap. You know, it's cheap to go out there and run. But, you know, even with me, I mean, I'm, I'm cheap. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm very cheap when it comes to shoes and clothes. I, I mean, I, I have like a, a uniform that I wear black shirts or gray shirt because I'm pudgy, <laughs> six foot five, I'm losing my hair. You know, I got I get certain shoes. I get adapted to certain shoes. But, you know, I saw in one of your blabs in your podcast, you were talking about shoes and what it takes of rotating shoes. Mm -hmm. So when you're in the running, do you really have to rotate your shoes? Does that cause back problems? What 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 were you exactly saying there? Um, I, that was probably geared more towards the, the, the semi-serious, very regular runners. Right. Um, so, so to start out, I wouldn't necessarily say that like, all right, so you're going to start running and you need to go out and buy two or three or four different pairs of running shoes so you can rotate them. But if, if you're running really consistently, what, what I was getting at with that, and, and, um, hopefully it was, it was clear to, at least to those that, that run regularly enough to kind of know where maybe I was, I was trying to get to. Right. Is that the worst? Not the, maybe not the worst thing you can do, but but it sucks when you when you have a good pair of shoes and you're running and running and running, and eventually, I mean, you need to replace your shoes just like anything else that that eventually wears out. Um, it really is no fun to get to where wherever the wherever that that cutoff point is, whether it's 400 miles, 500 miles. What, you know, each pair of shoes is a little different. Each person is right. a little bit different. But then to start back and breaking in a brand new pair of shoes because your old shoes you just can't wear them anymore. They're causing problems because they don't have the cushioning anymore. They don't have the shock absorption, all that kind of stuff. So. The, the idea behind rotating is, is you get to, you get a, you get a pair of shoes and you, and you break them in and they're, they're good and they're comfortable. They aren't causing any problems. That's a good time to start with another pair of shoes so that you can break them in right while you still have another good pair of shoes to wear. So that when those ones, when, when pair A wears out, pair B is right in the sweet spot, right? Right in that broken in, everything's good. They still got plenty of life left in them. And so then you, you shuffle out A and you bring in pair C and you break those in as you're still not wearing, so you, you, wearing B mostly. You have an A, B, and C pair. I have three pairs of shoes that I wear right now. One is is basically specifically for the trails. It, it doesn't have much. It doesn't have the, the type of of support that a that a road shoe would wear. So I wear it on like you know running running trails and, and cross country things like that. Well, we're talking to Cray Cray. We're gonna take a quick break. I haven't breaked. I mean, we're already almost done with the show here. But uh, we're gonna take a quick <laughs> break and we'll be uh, right back after these messages. You're listening to The Jeff Adams Show It's creative comedy for ordinary people Doing extraordinary things They're good, they're very funny They're hilarious They just be whoever they want to be It's just really funny They just want to be famous all the time And they don't have a lick of talent in their body The clutter in this space It's just too much Dad Gummins Yes, I said Dad Gummins on the microphone I'm just so over it I don't know and then you have the whole women. The only way they get on social media is they show their breasts or their buttocks or looking to seduce you on the internet. For crying out loud, get a talent. Learn how to broadcast. It's the Jeff Adams Show. I hardly ever brag about companies, but this company right here is an official sponsor of the Jeff Adams Show. Stringspot, our back end for our video content. Stringspot, they saved us months ago. Glenn Beck picked up one of our stories. They provided excellent service for us go check them out stringspot.com at stringspot official sponsor of the jeff adams show oh boy it looks like we have a vandal that's not good 
Vandal's not good. But I guess his Vandal's pretty good because he's tagging the Jeff Adam Show.tv all over the uh, wall there. But hey, man, if you're bored, come check us out at Jeff Adam Show.tv. It helps us stay afloat so we can stay on the air. Go to the Jeff Adam Show.tv. Lots of blogs, updates, those type of things there at the website. You can watch all the shows on demand or listen there. If you don't want to see our ugly faces, you can listen there at the Jeff Adam Show.tv. So check us out. Please support us. It's so important to come to the website, the Jeff Adam Show.tv. The Jeff Adams Show is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash The Jeff Adams Show. Over 150,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. They're just hilarious. Great show. Good show. Good show. <laughs> My favorite show. Melissa, how are you doing? Great. So let's talk about breastfeeding dips. Did you know, did you know that uh, Chris likes True. chocolate milk? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anyways. Wow. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, what do you think about breastfeeding, Matt? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. The Jeff Adams Show. You know, I should probably put all the commercials together so I could actually not stress out. And, oh, that's a reverb. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Do the uh, pee break. <laughs> right here talking about running and you make me want to pee. So well, let me ask you this. When you when you run, when you got to pee, do you just, what do you do? I mean, do you run faster if you're like <laughs> running around uh, the lake? Do you run faster to get to a bathroom? What do you do? You, you be strategic about where you're running. You know, like, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we run around Lake Collinsworth. So, like, you know, even though... Um, you know, I went with a group this morning at, at 5.30 in the morning. Like, what? Oh, yeah. What? You gotta, that, that's, that, here, here, all right, all right. You wait, don't wait. have to do that, Just, I, I just, I know. My wife says that, too. She, she, I think it was Tuesday night, we went to bed. She goes, hey, I wish I could get up at 5.30 in the morning and go change the world and run because I love running mm -hmm. because I just can't get up at 5.30 in the morning. How the heck do you do that? You go to bed between 9 and 9.30. But what if your body doesn't allow you? Like last night, I struggled because I was in pain. I, I I went to bed around nine, and then I fell asleep for fifteen minutes. It was like a power nap, and mm -hmm. then after that, I I went on Netflix, watched Marin a little bit, <laughs> and watched some Star Wars videos, and whatnot. And it became one a.m. Then I get up at I get <laughs> it, up. At, it became one a.m. And it became one a.m. <laughs> so and then now it's you know I, I got up at five thirty and I just was laying there. I was so much in pain. I put a pillow between my legs. It was bad. Mm -hmm. Um, but. Uh, all right, hey, well, let's do this real quick. Um, let me bring this. We're going to do the experiment here. Uh, yeah, let's, you know, let's we're bring Blab on. Yeah, we're going to bring Blab on. How many people are, are watching us right now? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot? Yeah. Hey, that means you got a good chance of getting on, though, if you want to. Yeah, there you go. Hey, we got Shelton. Now, on my show, Shelton, uh, if you're watching on Blab, you can see yourself, Shelton, but I'm streaming out to my CDN right now, but I have the audio hack in, so you can interact with the show. How's it going, Shelton? It's going great. How are you? I am doing fantastic. So the the beauties of Blab is I can't bring in the video format yet for my show, which I stream to Roku and my website and uh, the radio networks that we have. Uh, they can hear you, but uh, you can only strictly see Shelton's beauty on <laughs> Blab.im right now. Uh, and okay. I'm here. I'm here with Cray Cray. He's on Blab.im. He's a pro popular uh, running podcaster um, who uh, does live shows, gives running advice. Uh, so let's say what's up to uh, Cray Cray. Cray Cray, how are you, sir? I'm doing well, Shelton. How are you today? Glad to, glad to have you on the uh, Jeff Adams Show. Thank you, sir, very much. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, Shelton. So Shelton is a very popular blabber. I mean, this guy's nice. probably on here. There's 24 hours a day. Uh, he's on here probably 23 hours a day. <laughs> I don't know if, uh, he's getting any sleep, but, uh, but it's, it's very, very interesting. Never, never nevertheless. I mean, uh, yeah, I've seen, he's done a lot of great, uh, moderating shows. Hmm. I mean, there was one, I was coming back from Orlando on Saturday. He did a show. I don't know how long he did it, but I paid attention for two and a half hours after I was driving. I was listening to the show. Uh, I came home, I laid down, I had a little, you know, I don't know. I was out with the boys, put it that way. 
And uh, it was, uh, needless to say, it was, uh, it was a great, great show. Uh, so he is a very popular blabber, uh, straight up. I like it. Thank you, sir. All right, let's see. We got Matt Baxter calling in again. Matt's Matt, Matt Baxter, are you there? Yep. Okay, man, you disappeared. What happened? Oh, I just wanted to go down to the uh, Tiberius Lake to see what was going on. Oh, so you changed the scenery, man. There you go. Now, yeah, you, Well done, Matt. Now, now you're interacting what I'm talking about with media. See, now you just described the whole thing. You said, hey, man, I just had to take off to go check out the Tavares Lake and the new scenery. So what are you doing at the park right now? Well, I'm looking to see if anything's going on, and not much is going on right now. There's no... There are a lot of boats, yeah, boat planes around here. Boat planes? There's still boat planes around there? Yeah. Like the, the yes, one, there is. I remember that one guy there. There was like a bar down there. He would fly in on his boat plane and have a couple drinks and then fly away. Is that uh, <laughs> that guy still doing that? I don't know, man. I'm, oh, there's my ride right now. Your ride's coming. All right. All right, Matt. Yep, mom's coming. All right, tell, All right, mom, Matt. tell mom I said hello. All okay. Right. All right. Thanks, man. Bye-bye. Bye. So for those that are new to the program, uh, Matt Baxter I've known for a very long time. If you've ever seen the movie Forrest Gump, Matt Baxter is a modern-day Forrest Gump. I mean, he doesn't have much of a life. He goes from park to libraries during the day. He doesn't work a job. And he calls in the show, and, and I put him on hold so he can listen to the show because he doesn't have a smartphone. He just has a regular flip phone for transportation reasons. He still lives with his mom, but uh, Matt Baxter is a class act guy. I love Matt Baxter. He's a nice guy. Yeah, he's a stand-up guy. But when he goes in, I'm saying, hey, Matt, you're famous now. You're on the show. He goes to the library and checks out. Uh, he, he's in the Striper. He, like, he watched Striper videos 24-7. So uh, there you go. I mean, to each his own. Sheldon, <laughs> Sheldon, what's going on, Sheldon? I see you. Uh, uh, Cray Cray can't see you. Maybe if you got on your mobile device, you could probably oh, see I him could, put on I mute. I probably could. You could. Yeah, I could watch You could see it. Sheldon. I could lurk. Or you could even pop yes. in as a webcam. Ooh, that's yes. fancy. Uh, yeah, and uh, I, uh, I encourage your listeners to use Blab. Uh, it's, a, it's a great service, and it is, uh, it's very welcoming of new people, of, uh, of uh, newbies. And uh, I think uh, that they would really enjoy uh, using the service. Uh, it's really easy to use. The, the learning curve is very minimal. And yeah. uh, if you come, I'm, I'll, I'll be the first to, to, to welcome you. Well, I got to get to this because I promised somebody. So if you're in the Orlando, Florida area, I, 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 I look so good at the JeffAdamShow.tv chat room. Uh, and I promised this guy. He used to play drums with me years ago. And um, basically, uh, he asked me, he said, hey, can you plug this band? So if you are in the Orlando, Florida area, Saturday night at Disney World, there's a band called Broken, uh, For the Broken, For the Broken, let's get that right, For the Broken at Disney's Not a Joy uh, at the Tomorrowland stage. They're going to play at 1050 right after that rapper Lecrae. So uh, go check that not out. Not to be confused with Cray Cray. Yeah, not to be confused with Cray Cray, <laughs> who's in the studio right now. But, Doug, you can go check him out at Disney World on Saturday night at 10.50 after Lecrae gets done with his show. You can follow him at the band uh, For the Broken at Twitter. Uh, and there you go. I've never heard him play, but I said, hey, man, you know what? If you're, if you're filling in for drums on there, I'll, I'll plug it. So there you go. So there you go. Are you are you on? Are you going to try to get on right now before we if, have to close uh, the show? I'll, I'll, oh, here we go. I'm trying to join, but is, is it going to be? Oh, uh, I, I got you. Just make sure your volume is turned down. Are you? We're going to get reverb. I'm saying, can I can I mute? I'm going to I'm going to mute you on this end right here. Perfect. So once you get in here, let's see. Let's see if this works. There we go. This this is this is going to be. Hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> I don't have to switch anymore. <laughs> I guess I got to switch for the show. Or the for, other for the feed. real show. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. But there you go. Uh, very cool. Oh, my gosh. We have someone. The Illuminati has joined the <laughs> Blab room. That's pretty freaky. So, so, Shelton, I've got a question for you with Blab. Can I can I mute my my microphone on the on the uh, on the phone? Or, I, you know, if, I, if I'm logged into Blab on my computer at home or however I'm, I'm blabbing, can, can I mute myself or does that screw everything up? You should be able to. Uh, I, 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 I. Yeah, it says yes. Uh, John or uh, Colin uh, isn't are in the uh, lab chat room. They, they should be able to help you out with that. Uh, All right. I, I'm, I'm, 
It's probably. I'm sure it's me echoing. That's why I'm trying to figure out how I can how I can yeah. mute myself. Well, you're mute. I mean, we're good on this end. When I'm going out to the CDN, you're good. But for the blab, I'm sure I'm probably screwing. Okay. That. Oh, I see. Yes, should, I got it. Should, now I should be. I should hopefully sound good coming through the Jeff Adams Show yeah, TV. Yeah, you, you sound fine now. Fantastic. Uh, you're all right. perfect. All right, you're, real quick, guys. Older. Real quick, have you guys seen? I mean, what do you guys think about selfie sticks? Um, I think they. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt. No, go ahead, Sheldon. No, no, selfie okay, sticks. I think that they're, they're the most absurd, asinine thing I have ever heard of. Yes, they are. So I'm going to play this clip, and uh, I found this, and I thought it was amazing. I'm probably going to have to play it over, so bear with me because it happened so fast. But anyways, this guy has a selfie stick, and he thought he was cool. He goes, yeah, man, I'm cruising in my Jeep. And he's not paying attention to what he's doing, and he straight runs into his uh, friend's uh, truck with a kayak. So let's check this out real quick, and you guys see what I'm talking about. Look at this guy. My gosh. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, look, and look what to the damage he does to his, his car. It just, like, totally smashes in the windshield. It's, it's crazy, man. And, that, and, that's, and that's the power of selfie sticks right there. <laughs> that is the nuts. Power. What's, what, what's destructive what? power. Destructive power. We'll watch that one more time real quick. Here that, that's go. why Walt Disney World banned selfie sticks right there. It happens so fast. Watch this guy. He's so, if you if you watch the video, it happens so fast. You got to pay attention. When I clicked to the video, he's got a selfie stick. He, he's sticking his hand out the window, and then he slowly runs into the back of this guy. Now, watch. This happens really fast. I, I wish I could slow this down, but check this out. There he goes. Now, watch. Not even. Oh, oh my gosh. What did I just do? <laughs> Dad, damn it. <laughs> to hell with the selfie sticks. Look at the damage right there. But, all right, so, so. Is that the selfie sticks problem, or is that the idiot that's using? Is is that user error, or is that you know problem with it with the selfie stick itself? That that's him. I mean, clearly. That's, that's clearly him. It's clearly so you you, you don't, so good, so don't, good. Don't blame the selfie <laughs> stick for for user, you know, user error for, oh, for being an idiot. Well, yeah, John uh, John has a, has a in the, in the chat room has a uh, a point. Are you suggesting this kind of thing doesn't happen with people playing with their yes. stereo or putting on makeup? That's that's a valid point. Very uh, valid. But okay. I, so, I, I just, for some reason it just looks worse. Okay. <laughs> so so in the, so in the uh, the Jeff Adams Show, jcreativenewmedia.com, the Jeff Adams Show TV, uh, Bossy says uh, sh he wins the Darwin Award candidate. <laughs> Bravo, Bossy. Uh, uh, Derek Finder on Blab.im says uh, good thing about the safe stick, you can identify the idiots <laughs> and they're recording on their own failure. You're so correct, Derek. Human Two says, are they suggesting this kind of thing? is that you can identify idiots and they're recording their own failure. That's correct. So with that, I have one more for you that uh, we're going to take a look at that uh, is still idiotic with these stupid selfie sticks. So here we go. <laughs> oh, Tell me the phone blew off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! I, I, I hope the, I hope no one got hurt. I thought maybe the phone just flew off the stick or something. I think it did, and it fell. They thought it okay, flew okay. out the car. Uh, okay. And obviously, now uh, one more with this. Now I know we're running out of time here. Uh, I got five minutes, and I got to cut the radio feed. Uh, so with this, if you're, uh, you're listening to the radio, uh, you can go to Jeff Adam TV, see the feed or blab.im, see the feed. This, this is crazy to me. I, I saw this video and I, I literally said, this guy is absolutely freaking nuts. He's two. Now this is the, this is the world we live in. I mean, right. people are absolutely losing their cotton picking minds. This kid has to be like a lick of 17, 18 years old. Okay, and they're bored on Labor Day weekend. What did you do on Labor Day weekend? I don't know. Well, check this out. This guy, li they literally took an old car from a barn, lit it on fire. <laughs> he drove it on fire off the cliff into a lake. He jumps out of the car all for a freaking YouTube video. You've got to see this. this I'm, not, I'm not making this stuff up, all right? Here we go. Check this guy out. I mean, this is, this is absolutely insane. Look at this. He jumped. Oh, my God. I mean, that's awesome. Oh, my God. He's jumping out of the car. What the hell? Is he trying to get a job at friggin', you know, at Hollywood? I mean, what is He's he doing? He's plugging his nose. He's plugging his nose going into the water. He thought of, uh, <laughs> he thought of all angles, he man. He thought this out. 
It's ab- well, it's absolutely crazy. If that was my kid, they, I read a little bit later after that, they uh, they pulled it out with a tractor. Who has a friggin' SUV sitting around in a garage? Uh, hey, I got an idea. Let's light it on fire, and then we'll take a YouTube video. Or set it ablaze, and I'll jump out. That won't that be so cool? What if that thing blew up? Right, <laughs> people. The stuff people to do to try to be famous is is absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. In the, and in the future, they'll take it to the next level and use a periscope. Uh, they'll use periscope yeah. They'll be they'll it. be they'll blabbing it, it while they're doing it. Yeah, they'll use blab while they're doing it. <laughs> You know what? It's cool. I can't wait till I can figure out, you know, maybe talk to the CEO at blab.im and figure out how I can integrate this with the show with the rest of the feed that I do. I mean, it's great. Uh, you know, if you're watching at the Jeff Adams show.tv or listening, obviously you hear this guy, Shelton, you're like, who is he? Well, he's on blab.im right now. If you go there, you can check him out and uh, see all his good looks and his splendor. He kind of looks very angelic. Uh, he kind of looks like an angel has approached and uh, he's such a nice guy. You know, and uh, I was there for him yesterday when he got rejected in an Apple chat room. He didn't get it accepted. <laughs> and I was there for him. I held his hand. I go, you know what, Shelton? It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay, Shelton. <laughs> Those Apple kids are just n- up to no good. We all have some There's Apple. fanboys. Watch out. There's fanboys. Yeah. So, uh, hey. For those still hanging out at Blab.im, I've got to close the show out, you know, for our, our radio feed. I've got to do that. But I'm going to do an after show here at Blab.im. Stay here. Nothing's going to happen. But I've got to roll out the show. Uh, I'm over time. I didn't take the other break. So uh, what break did I didn't take? Uh, the I, early one. The early one, yes. Mm-hmm. I, I waited too long. But uh, I want to thank Joycaster, one of our sponsors. They are amazing. So if you're looking to stream out to, uh, you know, platforms, Check them out. Joycaster, uh, joycaster.co is a website. It's an amazing, amazing thing. You can stream out to five different platforms at the same time with one arm TPP. I know I'm talking technical, but go check them out. Uh, also, check out embracebygrace.org. If you're looking at adopting, uh, interested in adopting, make sure you check them out. They are a great organization. Uh, thanks for hanging out. But, hey, if you're on Blab, stay here. We're going to do an after show here. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. But if you're listening to the TuneIn radio station right now, uh, you're on the Internet, go to blab.im. We're doing an after show there. And uh, if you're watching the JeffAdamsShow.tv, make sure you come to blab.im. We're going to be here. Shelton. Shelton is a freaking movie star. <laughs> uh, you know, we got Cray Cray in the house, the the excellent runner. Uh, Cray Cray, thanks for hanging out on the show today, oh, thanks man. Thanks for having me, Jeff. Always a, always a pleasure. And uh, we'll see you very, very soon. Until then, peace out.